Now let us see how to solve trigonometric equations. We'll actually try to understand a strategy here to solve trigonometric equations. Let me take an example as 1 plus sine theta equals to cos theta. And let us say theta is between 0 to 2 pi. Now in this particular equation, you will notice that we have both types of terms and it becomes really difficult to solve such equations. Strategy is to write in one form, that is either in sine or in cosine. So I'll actually show you two different ways of uh, solving such equations. So we'll do case one in which we will square both sides and then solve. So the equation given to us is 1 plus sine theta equals to cosine theta. We'll square both sides, right? So we'll square this side and we'll square this side. Once you square, you actually incorporate errors. So you should check for errors also. So basically, when you square, you, should, you need to check result. This is important because minus becomes positive when you square, right? Okay, so let us square and figure it out. We have one plus sine squared theta plus two sine theta as expansion of this plus cos squared theta. Now we could write cos squared theta as one minus sine squared theta, right? So we could write this as one plus sine squared theta plus 2 sine theta equals to 1 minus sine square theta. Now we have a quadratic equation in sine, bringing all the terms together. 1 plus sine square theta plus 2 sine theta minus 1 plus sine square theta equals to 0. 1 and 1 cancel. Sine square theta plus sine square theta is 2 sine square theta and here we have 2 sine theta equals to 0. 2 sine theta is common. We get, I mean, sine theta plus 1. Uh, let me write this as, okay, sine theta plus, plus 1 equals to 0. Now, for this equation to be true, sine theta could be equal to 0 or sine theta could be equal to minus 1. So whenever we are looking for sine theta solutions, it is good practice to sketch the sine curve and see when it is 0 or minus 1. So from this graph, you can easily figure out that sine is 0 for the values as theta equals to 0 pi and 2 pi, correct? So 0, pi and 2 pi are your solutions. And theta is minus 1 here. So which is, I mean, sine theta is minus 1 for theta equals to 3 pi by 2. Okay. So these are the solutions which you get. How? Whenever you square, you should check your result, whether this equation is being satisfied or not. So if I substitute 0. In this case, what do I get? If I substitute 0, I'm checking the equation 1 plus sine theta equals to cos theta, right? So sine 0 is, is 0. However, cos 0 is 1, so this is fine. Now, when I substitute pi, right? So when I substitute theta equals to pi, in that case, I get 1 plus sine pi uh, now, sine pi is 0, of course, and uh, cos pi is what? Cos pi is minus 1, right? Cos pi is not 0. Let me sketch the graph for cos function also. So, for cosine, the graph is kind of like this. So, you will notice that in cos function, for pi, you get minus 1. This is minus 1. So, that is not true. And therefore, this result is not valid. So, pi is not valid. 
you get an idea right so it is important to check the results okay if you check 2 pi if you write 2 pi here cos is 1 and 1 plus sine 2 pi you get 1 which is which is cos 2 pi so this is fine right and if you check for 3 pi by 2 then we have 1 plus sine 3 pi by 2 sine 3 by by 2 is minus and cos 3 pi by 2 so it is 1 pi by 2 3 pi by 2 is 0 right so so we do get 0 which is okay so all other values are perfectly fine so ultimately the valid answer is for this equation theta equals to 0 2 pi and 3 pi by 2 is it okay pi does not satisfy this equation correct why you got this answer because you squared it minus 1 squared is plus 1 that's why you got that answer right okay now that is case 1 you could do like this but you have to be careful of checking the values case 2 in case 2 we will write these terms in terms of half angle right so we have the equation 1 plus sine theta equals to cos theta we know that sine 2 theta could be written as 2 sine theta cos theta right so so i could replace sine theta by half angle formulas similarly cos 2 theta could be written as in terms of sine 1 minus 2 sine square theta right so these these values i could write in terms of theta so what i'm trying to say here is that i could write sine theta as equal to 2 sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2 and i can write cos theta as 1 minus 2 sine square theta by 2 you get it so we are going to do this substitution and then solve. So if I do this substitution, I get 1 plus 2 sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2 equals to, instead of cos theta, I'm going to write 1 minus 2 sine square theta by 2, right? Let's bring the terms together, 1 and 1 cancel. We get 2 sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2 plus 2 sine square theta by 2 equals to 0. Now we can take 2 sine theta by 2 common. So we get cos theta by 2 plus here we get sine theta by 2 equals to 0. Now either this term sine theta by 2 equals to 0 or this term which is cos theta by 2 plus sine theta by 2 equals to 0. Both gives us solutions, right? Now, as far as the range is concerned, we are working in theta between 0 to 2 pi. So what happens when it is theta by 2? We have to divide this by 2. So, so we get 0 to pi. Perfect. Now, for sine theta by 2 to be 0, within this interval, which is between 0 to pi, sine is 0 for theta by 2 equals to 0 or theta by 2 equals to pi. Is that okay? These are the two values for which sine theta by 2 is 0. So that gives us that sine the theta equals to 2 times 0, which is 0, right? Or theta equals to 2 pi. So we get two solutions theta equals to 0 and 2 pi from this condition. Now let us solve the next factor. So if I bring it to one side, then we get what? We get tan, we could write this as sine theta by 2 equals to minus cos theta by 2 or tan theta by 2 equals to minus 1 dividing by cos theta by 2. Perfect. Now when is cos theta by 2 equals to minus 1. Now, we are working in the domain for theta by 2 
which is basically 0 to pi, right? That domain. So within this domain, when is tan negative? Tan is negative when you are in quadrant 2. So that is the solution we are looking for. And the acute angle is pi by 4. So this angle is 3 pi by 4, right? For which it is minus 1. So we get theta by 2 equals to 3 pi by 4 or theta equals to 3 pi by 2, right? So we get exactly the same answer which we got earlier. So that becomes the next solution, which is theta equals to 3 pi by 2, right? So we get same three solutions which we got last time, but we have adopted two different ways of solving the trigonometric equation. So I have concepts about trigonometry which will be applied in calculus. So the whole idea is to refresh and begin with calculus. So that brings to the end of this particular video. We have learned different techniques of using our trigonometric ratios. We have recalled the formulas and now I think you are absolutely ready to take on calculus with trigonometry. All the best.